Hello everyone, my name is Tyler, and this week on How To, we will be talking about how to do the basic structure behind Aura Particles, um, and this is kind of the end result of what we'll be doing today. So, um, let's go over here and actually make our particle. So I'm back to the default project this week. Um, the only thing that we need from it in particular is kind of a horizontal mesh. Um, other than that, we don't really need anything to make uh, make uh, make an interesting looking R. So I guess without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing that we want to do is kind of make that uh, kind of horizontal flat effect um, that will, that you see over here. So let's go over to our system. Let's actually move this a little bit more out of the way and go back. It's a little far out. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go over to the render and then change it from billboard to mesh, and then let's find an actual uh, flat mesh. This water plane mesh will do, it's a little high polyed for what we want, but uh, we'll make it work. Let's change the rotation, and uh, let's change the, the speed, and the size of the cone, there we go. Now what we want to have it do is kind of grow in size over time and then have it kind of go in and out, um, fade in and out. So let's change those real quick to give it some interesting kind of uh, illusion, to give it the interesting illusion of speed. Let's kind of have it grow over time. Um, as you can see it's kind of blinking very rapidly, so let's give it an uh, interesting kind of fade in, fade out. That's a little bit better, but uh, what we want to do is kind of have a give it a varying starting size so it can have a little bit of interesting uh, kind of an interesting effect to it. So let's center that real quick and then let's modify our starting size a bit. There we go. That looks that looks good enough for, for what we want. So let's start the next part of our particle system, which is the kind of rising rising effect that we have. And then let's drag that system over here so there now one system. You need to zoom me out again, so let's zoom all the way back in. Okay, now let's match the shape to what we have on the floor. So let's try that. Nope, still a little too big. There we go. Maybe actually a little bit smaller. Let's do point 0.4. There we go. Um, then let's change the size and speed of our particles. Let's put the Actually, let's change the shape first. We'll change it to a hemisphere so we can kind of see what we're doing a little bit more clearly. Uh, change the starting speed to zero because we're going to be messing with velocity over lifetime and that's a little bit more accurate. Uh, lifetime is fine. Uh, start size, let's again have a varying start size. Let's put it to uh, 0.2 to 0.5. Sounds good. We'll see how that looks after we get the velocity straightened out. Um, so let's have uh, kind of random between two curves so we can have some kind of varying velocity that we've been um, kind of doing with the other uh, parts of the particle system all along. So um, let's have them kind of slowly rise up. Since the lifetime is a bit long, that's fine because we want this to kind of be a looping, uh, looping slow system. If you want kind of a more violent effect, you can decrease the lifetime and increase the speed so the particles will be appearing and disappearing a lot more quickly. So let's, let's, let's change that a little bit so that they're all rising up. Okay, now let's change, uh, let's give it a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of, um, of x and y velocity so that they kind of have a little bit more variation in their movement. Then let's change the color over lifetime so we can have them fade in and fade out. Let's see, is there anything else? Uh, we could probably change how many are emitting. Let's see um, if that makes it look a little bit more interesting. And you can see that the that the colors of the particles are now kind of overlapping and creating interesting shapes on their own because um, they're drawing on top of each other. And that's kind of what we want to achieve with this R effect. It's kind of like weird, kind of magical, like forming, disforming kind of effects. So uh, that's about it for this kind of basic structure. It's basically just the kind of flat horizontal part and then just the rising particles coming out of it. Um, if you want to do a little bit more interesting things, you can play around with the textures. Um, if for the horizontal textures, if you have a kind of like a circular uh, symmetrical uh, texture, you can have that um, create some interesting effects. Um, Unity has some over here that we can kind of look at. Um, oops, I'm still on the other particle system. Let's switch over real quick. Um, let's go over here. 
So you can see, even though this is kind of a smug texture, you can kind of get an interesting R effect of it if you are changing the textures and they're kind of a little bit more distinguished than the default kind of blob. You can also play around with the rotation over lifetime and the starting rotation to give it a little bit more interesting variation and kind of uh, visual, um, kind of just make it more visually interesting. Um, the same thing you can do with the kind of little rising blobs. Um, if you do have a more kind of uh, specific and uh, distinguishable texture, you must also want to mess with the rotation for those. But that's the structure for kind of a basic aura for uh, games. If you have any other suggestions for tutorials that you would like to see, or um, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know as always. And uh, thank you everyone for watching, and I hope to see you next week.